From whichever angle you look at the Agora, it's hardly Milton Keynes's most attractive building. Those who hate the 1970s shopping centre say it blocks off the town square and forces people to walk around it. It's ugly, it's a monstrosity. Uh, there was quite a lot of buildings in that particular area that were put up with uh, not much thought for how it would affect the rest of the town. A new proposal would see it demolished and replaced by flats, a reconnected town square and retail units. But a neighbourhood plan which puts local people at the centre of any key decision making is yet to be agreed. And campaigners say that must happen first. This community has worked for so long to get to this point and has got a wish list. And it could be that this developer will only meet half the wish list. But had the plan been adopted, we would have been in a stronger position for the community's wishes to be taken on board. That's my primary concern. I can't see you know, putting up that point. Yeah. They brought them down. The developers say they're aware of these concerns and have taken them into account. We are realists, we know we're not going to be able to please all of the people all of the time, but the reality is that we have, we've, uh, we've gone through it in a fine tooth comb, we've spent uh, many, many months, probably 15, 16 months in various planning discussions, working up a scheme uh, which we hope will be acceptable to uh, the people of Wolverton. The Agora was intended to be a gift to the people of Wolverton by the Development Corporation in the 1970s to bring the town and its Victorian architecture up to date with the new Milton Keynes. That now seems at an end, and it would appear that few people in the town will be sad to see it go.